Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache! Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms! Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp! Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really?
Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. That doesn't need another coat. This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze!
Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Have no fear, simple citizens. The violently if it's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one ugly ca Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! I think we got it. Okay. We'll stop that. Cr well, it is on special. And we are running game. Public restrooms. I'll do it. Uh oh. Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's it's pretty energy. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. 
already planning on it, little buddy. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam 1, taillight 0. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it! Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <laughs> Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker! Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No. What's it do? The 10000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Not from a wide me? Right. You peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Excuse me. Sure. Oh, Sybil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. 
<laughs> Please, Sam, allow me! Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! We've already taken care of it. He's out like a candle at the bottom of a fish pond. Say, that's perfect. Because I think he was hypnotized by someone. And now I can do something about it. Wow, hypnotized, really? Can we make him act like a chicken? What's the usual procedure when someone's been hypnotized? Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Come again? You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Then you can help them overcome the hypnosis. Allow me to demonstrate. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? S My name. Oh. I've got. And there. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house. Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh. Very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stay. I want it. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh. D Take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder. Snap out of it, you big baby! Oh, what's going on? Where... Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227... something. Spex would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! Well, that was helpful. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Watch out! No! Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Got him. Yes! 
Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas! How devilishly convenient! Thanks. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? Hmm, it says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. What's free association like? It's a test of your... Dance a samba, recite... Hmm... Have we started already? No. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word... Lamp black. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving! Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Home. Hullabaloo. I s Well, this has been a little. Yes? Your res you should see him at the. It could be. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. Tomato, tomato. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. You seem fairly focused on fame, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality? Maybe, but... Can we do some more ink blot? Sure. Take a look at this. Susan Lucci. I see. Now, how about this one?
an SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's mom. Now this one. What do you see? Elephants have... And this one? That blotch... You seem fairly focused on money, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe. Can we do some more ink blot? Sure. Take a look at this. Soup. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the... And this? An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? that blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial... You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I remembered that I'd just gotten something. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? It was a oh, I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a It was you. Well, clearly I represent your mother. Wait a second. Wedding cake, your mother. You subconsciously want to marry your own mother. Well, this is a blow. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no! Where we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. There's justice to Can we get ice cream? This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody?
jumping Lon Chaney in a Bothell fright wig. Brady culture, I presume. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. Is it over? I think so. Whoops. In your dreams, culture! Hey, that tickles! What? Oh, oh no. Oh no! I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along? No, Bosco, I... Call the CIA! ...must deliver... Ah! ...too far. Too far. Too far. Oh, don't even try. I love that part. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. Become. Do my evil. <laughs> Holy brains and a. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? <laughs> no! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. I will be number one in the ratings. Now! Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. And another one bites the cheese. I wouldn't want to turn Brady back on. Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh. Hey, don't touch. I will be. Oh, I'm sure that's going to do anything. Please. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please.
Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. That doesn't even work in a dream. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great! Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Not even in a dream. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Give it up. That'll never... Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the team. That doesn't even work in a dream. It's just a dream, Sam. Not even in a dream. That doesn't even work in a dream. Weird. I think I've done enough pumping for one dream. Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't Not it? Even in a dream. Strange. That doesn't even work in a dream. Even in a dream. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. That doesn't even work in a dream. Waste of quality ammunition. I have so many other things to shoot. I don't want to pop him. Didn't hurt. Hold on, I'll think of something. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him! Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam! I've got an itch! I can't scratch! Enigmatic. Queer. Dance, puppet, dance. Not even in a dream. That doesn't even work in a dream. I wish I knew why I was carrying around the coat hanger off our TV. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? 
Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. Odd. Not even in a dream. Interesting. That doesn't even work in a dream. I love my hair, and you do too. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great! But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. I will have lead. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? Oh my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Oh, uh. Oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. Ibo man. <laughs> Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my free little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Quick! Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud! There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. I'm not going back to that asylum until I've got a working defense against that dastardly hypnotic ray. Max isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. That won't help me rescue Max. You know who would have loved that? Max. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. That makes me miss Max for some unknown reason. Max, is that you? No, I'm starting to hallucinate.
Doc, Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed would block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. This diagram looks hokey, but it's the only chance I've got against culture. Hey, Bosco. You okay? Yep. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. Calling of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. I'm coming, Max. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady Culture. We see you! And this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ouch! A 
attack the dog! Ow! Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thing and Madoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up! They do so! I force them to. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song! Attack the dog! Ah. Caffeine rush! rush! That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need another coat. I'd rather punch other things. That doesn't need another coat. Attack the dog! <laughs> Caffeine rush! You should surrender. I've got the place surrounded. Liar, liar, pant! That doesn't need another coat. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. That doesn't need another coat. Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. Attack Brady Culture. No! Attack the dog! <laughs> Caffeine Rush! Rush! Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow! You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness! Attack the dog! Ah. Attack the dog! Ow! Caffeine rush! rush! Attack yourselves! Dolts! Attack the dog! Ah. Caffeine Rush! Rush! Attack me! Whoops! Ah. Caffeine Rush! Rush! Attack the videotapes! Buffoons! Attack the dog! <laughs> Attack the dog! Ow! Caffeine Rush! Rush! Become yourselves. Uh -oh. Oops. Attack the dog! 
Come videotapes. Black wits, attack the dog. <laughs> ah. <Death>. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense! Attack the dog! Ouch! Caffeine rush! rush! Worship yourselves! Boneheads! Attack the dog! <laughs> Caffeine rush. rush! Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> Attack the dog! Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> nice hat, by the way. It protects me from that ray of his. Speaking of which, I don't see you delivering videotapes. Yeah, apparently I can't be hypnotized. It was driving the Phantom here, Berserk. There's got to be something wrong with his brain. Well, that goes without saying. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. It's not too late to give up and come along peacefully. I'm rubber, you're glue. Bounce off me and stick to you. Attack Brady culture. No, attack the dog! <laughs> Worship the videotapes. Imbeciles. Attack the dog! <laughs> Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need another coat. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. I'll have this wrapped up in a minute, little buddy. That's good. I'd hate to miss my favorite mind-numbing formulaic evening TV program. You may as well give up now, culture. Your hypnotic ray thing in Medoodle won't true. Yeah, they don't shut up. They do. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady. Worship Brady culture. <laughs> Attack me. Whoops. Ow.
Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> Worship me. No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Attack the dog! Ah. Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog! Ah. Worship me! No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Attack me! No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Yes! Oops! No, wait! I mean... Oh, oh, oh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason.
Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Anybody home? Guess not. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W.A.R.P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! 
Could I fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next? Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? What are you doing here anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranches trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom- Rocketing to fame. We'd like to a- You want to audit- All right! I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit! Um... Grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just... Frothing mad! Hmm... Cut! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm not hot. I don't know what went... You look... Come back. Once used for apples... Hey, Max. What is it, Sam? Let's boogie, little buddy. Lights, camera, devil-barreled action. Hello again. Yes? Can we take another crack at- Fine. Let's take it from the top. Cut! Quit stalling and act rabid. I don't know how I could- You have to be frothing at the mouth. Could The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook? Clearly from a- No wonder I haven't- Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I miss- I hope that's just- I hope it isn't! It's got a fall- Twinkle- Uh, yeah. Hey, even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? I don't want to make anybody mad. I'm Hello again? Yes? Can we take another cr Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Cut! Rabbit, I said! I don't know how I could be any more rabbit. 
Use a prop if you have to. You think Brando just magically grew fatter cheeks to play the Godfather? No. Come back when you can froth. It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. Who wants so? What the? Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip, honey nut cheer here. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Horse up, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! <laughs> Blast! Bugger! Blimey! Bollocks! The little blighted did it again! After him! I mean, telly ho! Tally ho! Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped! Hey! After those rats! There they are! Let's get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Missed them. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Shoot him, Sam! The skin buddies can't... Oof! Hey, the shaving cream! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Hello, sir. What's be? We want to buy something. Mm, yes. What have you got? Well, just between us, I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? 
Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me, trust me. Nothing for us. Indeed. Thanks, Bosco. Little pit. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! That's more fun when somebody's watching. Hello again. Yes? Can we take another crack at- Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me Rabbit. Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who- Zip it! Okay, Max, you've just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad! You're despondent! You're grief-stricken! Now, show me the emotion! Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve! Grief, I said! Give me grief! Uh... Cut! That has got to be the saddest sad performance I've ever seen. Is that good or bad? Bad! I'd recommend you try to think about dead puppies or something, but that's what the scene's about. And it didn't help. Come back when you can cry on cue. Hello again. Yes? Can we- Fine. Let's take it from- Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> Oof. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. 
It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max. Your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Hey, bossy. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Hey! All right, I know you've got a... Oh, for pity's sake! This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! Cut! Amateurs! <sighs> Let's get the set back! This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Hi, Mom. Is this thing on? Let's have another go. Okay, now remember. They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Just a second, Mr. Featherly. Say, this will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! Cut! Amateurs! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was! Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology. Helped millions. Right. The st I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do! 
So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. 6,373,411.98 Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Can't... may we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording con... Recording contract? Piece of... No cake. We have to be... Of course! Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? I'm gonna go get my... It's too nice, and you should stop... What face? Let's have another go at that scene. Okay, now we're... They probably had it cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. 
How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about... And if the show... Best leave it to... Hey, bossy. Open up! Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la range. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries! I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army days. Better get the serious toothpaste. Hey, that's my line! Oh, cut! Hey! I'm afraid you've delivered the sponsor's line at a comically inopportune moment. Wait for me to do something that might call for that line to be said. Gotcha. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way... Let's have another... See if you can squ... Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable... And frog's leg. Oh, a French chef, eh? I, I went to get... Have you heard the one about the three firemen and the football? Oh, please. This isn't that sort of a show. Save it for Myra. Cut! <sighs> Let... What dumb... Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... Oh. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy... And frog... Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French... I went to gape... Hey, Bossy. Bossy? That's a funny name. These are all thesauri. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Pretty ingenious disguise, eh? What the? First you disguise the cow, then you tell me about it? Cut! Please don't say... How am I expected to create... He's right, guys. You can do better than that. <sighs> Let's get the... What's up? Play I know you're hiding a 
cow. Let there be light. Hey. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got a... a well, well, well! This is the... And frog... Oh, 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 I went... <laughs> Goodness, who left this lying here? I miss the 70s when you could get away with stuff like that. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent... Say no more. Ah, nature. I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said Camus. It's a very short French tone poem entitled The Pen of My Aunt is on the Dresser of My Uncle. Except in French. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Cut! <sighs> Can we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will... Let's have... See if you can squ... Open up in there! I know you're hiding... Goodness, who cow. left this line? Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you've got... This is... And... Oh, 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 I went... Sorry, what was that you said? He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? And the grand freight train of comedy is once again derailed. Where is the... Okay, cut! <sighs> Look. Let's have enough... Don't forget to work in Max... Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Aha! This is the and oh, 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 I went. <laughs> Goodness, who left this line? Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super. I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? 
I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm. Interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. So how does this game show work? Did you just ask me how a game show works? Uh... A contestant comes to the podium, the host reads them a question, they get it wrong, and they leave. Just one question? More time for commercials that way. See you later. That's a wrap. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us! Welcome! You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire! Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? I'm gonna go with my gut and say... Hugh Bliss. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay! Find out which point. Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers. Only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. I can't see how anybody would ever be able to... That's where they keep the question cards. We've got another contestant! Hit it! 
Oh my, the questions have vanished. Welcome back to... Stay in commercial, stay in commercial. More commercials. We'll be right back after this. How do you do that teleportation trick where you're always everywhere ahead of us? Trade secret, honey. What's the story with this show? Cooking Without Looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No, it's broadcast live. We don't tape it. See ya. Probably. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh! Greetings, worshipful fans! Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Nah. Nope. Uh-uh. No thanks. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, no, no. No gifts. All I need is love. Sweetie, love. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 no gifts. Oh. 
Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Remind me what you're re- Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video games? Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, thanks? But you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. We'll be right back. Take your time. No dice. No can do. Nah. Hi, Mom. See you later. That's a wrap. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Oh my, the questions have vanished. Welcome back to we'll Stay in Commercial. More com I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Welcome once again to... Thank you, and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? A bunch of gunk in a dish. We'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hod. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummy hot. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your esophagus. Of course, you're going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it, too. We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking showtime, ta-da, you've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh boy, let's take it with us. That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max.
Nope. How'd you like something to eat? Are you kidding? I don't have time to eat. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, no, no. no. Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. Chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh, my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> I can't see how anybody would ever be able to answer. sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Did we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <clears throat> May the starfish justice not impugn. Thinking. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judge. Bravo! Your, your style. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peepers is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on embarrassment. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call... Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <coughs> Howlin' at that drippy old hunk of moon. She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. Nice, but I'd like to see some technical proficiency. Hitting a high note, for example. As it stands, Peeper still has my vote. I really think you could do this professionally. Thanks. But Peepers is my brother. There's no way I'm voting for anyone else. Okay, I can see that. Remember, folks... Fascinating. Not really sure. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call... Craving for undeserved fame and fortune. <coughs> Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Play and cut. Blowing like a zephyr. And let's hear. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excru. Um, thanks. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. That nuts. Remember, folks, on. Uh uh. No thanks. Well, well, peepers, you underdeveloped former non psychotherapist, you. What a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. Repeatedly. No gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. How do you manage to hit those eardrum scarring high notes? If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't. What you hear is pure peepers. That's almost exactly what I would have said. Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I told you, I don't use any artificial vocal enhancement, and I resent the implication. I have a gift, that's all. Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? 
Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft! Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like... Look, I... I'm dying to know. Is there any truth to the rumors about lip-syncing on the old Soda Poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. I'll leave you to whatever it is you... Good luck! Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more? Ask the director. We judges don't have to concern ourselves with operational details. If you'll excuse me, I've got... It's your life. Hi. Hi. You got this stage set up awfully fast. You must have an army of minions to do your bidding. No, it's pretty much just me. I used to have a stagehand, but she went to watch the Myra show. All the more impressive, then. Sawing the hole in the floor was the hard part. What can you tell me about- Embarrassing idol, standard drill, amateur singers with delusions of ability- What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract with a major label. If you're going to be ex That seems clear. Thank good. Well, I You got that right. No dice. No can do. Nah. How would you like to try out some new lyrics? No thanks! I only perform my own material! Nope. How'd you like something to eat? No thanks. The camera already adds 10 pounds. How'd you like something to eat? I'm kinda saving room, thanks. How'd you like something to eat? Not hungry, thanks. I can't see how anybody would ever be able to answer any of these questions. Uh-uh. No thanks. Lady Hello. Love has a th <coughs> shiny like a new mylar balloon. She rode to some day, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear- Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is- Nice, but I'd like to see some technical proficiency. Hitting a high note. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. 
ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'd like to do a bottleneck on the freeway of doom. <coughs> May the starfish justice not impugn. Thinking about the rings on the great raccoon. Road to someday, bits of me are str- And let's- I admire your- Thanks, little buddy. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit- I really- Thanks. What? Okay. Remember, folks. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here. Last week. Ew. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? Fascinating. Hey, a perfect fit. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next... Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, am I blue? No, Hugh, you're not blue. Oh dear! Oh me, oh my! That's absolutely right! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep-fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Can we play again? Well, you bankrupted us, so I'm thinking no. Yes? Of course, dear. What if we have our own video game? Video g I'm gonna go get... It's t and you should s what face? See you later. That's a wrap.
How much would it take to get you to bow out of the competition? Oh, I'd never do that. This means too much to me. My music is my life. Supposing a wealthy individual wanted to influence the outcome of this program. If said individual could hit a high note, he might have a chance. Otherwise, I think not. No dice. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Bye! What am I, a charity? Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 no gifts. All I... Hey, peepers. What do you want? Really, is there any... Look, I told... I'll leave you to... Good luck. Judge looks good on you, Max. Thanks. I hope it comes with lunch. Any advice about your fellow judges? Well, word around the local judging circles is that Spex is a sucker for a really high note. But Wizard, I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to get him to change his vote. Well, perhaps I can deal with him some other way. I think I'll... If you poke up some... No can do. Supposing a wealthy individual wanted to influence the outcome of this program. Are you trying to bribe me? If you are, it won't do you much good. Your competition is my brother, after all. Nah. Nope. Don't let your passion for overzealous criticism get in the way of our primary goal here, little pal. I already forgot what that is. Myra Stump, holding the audience hostage? Oh, right. Sometimes my... A fact I know. I think I'll poke around and look for clues, or craft services crawlers, or both. If you poke up some crawlers, I want six. Hi. Hi. What's it like working with the soda poppers? Oh, the usual. They prance around and make unreasonable demands, but they knuckle under because they're desperate to be working at all. Same as the rest of us, really. Your bleak outlook is oddly refreshing. Let me ask you more about Embarrassing Idol. It's like watching the same car crash over and over again. Sorry, was there something specific you wanted to know?
Can I take another stab at singing? Sure, why not? It's not like there are other contestants lined up and... Can you give me some kind of insight into the arcane workings of the judging? It's pretty simple. All the judges have to agree on a winner. That's all there is to it. What kind of arbitrary criteria do they use to make their decisions? That's up to the individual judge. I channel the spirit of Hammurabi, the ancient Babylonian ruler. Then I pick you, Sam. Thanks, little buddy. That seems clear. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Hey, peepers. What? I'll leave you to whatever it... Good luck! How much would it take to get you to bow out of the competition? Oh, I... How'd you like something to eat? No thanks. The camera already adds ten pounds. Hey, peepers. What? I'll leave you to... Good luck! I can't see how anybody would ever be able to answer any of these questions. Uh-uh. No thanks. No dice. No can do. What am I, a charity? Nah. Nope.
This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Huh? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it! We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. That's nice, Sam, but not quite what I was looking for. Nobody will buy this guy as an alien with that color skin. Nuts. Raisins! <laughs>